Maddie Norris is the total package. That's why she is an ultimate leader of the pack. I mean, it starts from the very beginning. It's always fun to watch freshmen line up outside of their classroom because it's kind of a holdover from their eighth grade years. But I don't, but I don't think Maddie does it because that's kind of a, it's kind of instinct from from held over. She's just that driven, just that just that given to to excellence in the classroom. Always communicating with me if there's any any sort of question or any sort of clarification, she might not be there. Always in communication with me in the classroom. Good heavens, man! You never you you never seen such a, such a phenomenal individual student as well as you want that. Great girl in your group she picks up the slack for other people within her within her group when they do, when they end up when they end up dropping the ball even within those groups she's the one she's the one making sure everybody has all making sure everybody has all their jobs done and, and not in a not in a domineering way and just in a way just in a way it says okay are we all where we, where we ultimately ought to be she's just such a great leader in that way as a student, my goodness, what an incredible talent she is! She's one of the best critical thinkers that I that I have it that I have in this class. She's a phenomenal writer, succinct and expressive, and really and really very talented. And then I mean that's and then I mean you can't even say what a great athlete she is as well. Such a tremendous talent on the field and off the field as well. Just that just that person that you point to her and say that is what I'm proud about Centennial. That is what we want to be the image of Centennial going out. And even beyond, even beyond that, just the little things that it's so easy to not do, as we are all wearing our masks all the time. It's so easy to not communicate. You, know, you can't see, you can't see a person's face. You can't see a smile. You can't see eye contact. But Maddie's always right there with a good morning, right? Even though you can't hear it through the mask, she's always right there with a good morning. She's always right there with a with, with a with a response with a response. Maddie is one of the rare students who is every who's every part of a package not just as not just as a student or an athlete but just as it but just as an individual the future is so incredibly bright for maddie can't wait to see what is what's what's coming for her next so i chose landon shadley for leader of the pack because he took on the challenge of learning virtually with honor integrity and excellence landon is a student that works hard at everything he does but he does it with a smile and he does not forget to have fun along the way Having to learn virtually is no easy task, as many of us know, but Landon always made sure to come to class on time, be engaging, participate in lessons, ask great questions, and he even got other stu students in class to become engaged in lessons as well. He became a leader amongst his virtual peers, and that was hugely helpful, not only to me, but to everyone. So Landon showed all of those characteristics of Coyote Pride during second quarter. And for that, he becomes leader of the pack. Hi, this is Coach Bauer from the PE department. And I nominated Chloe Brady for the leader of the pack award. I have been fortunate enough to have Chloe in class twice um, already as a sophomore. And this past semester, I had her in my weight training class. And I had another student who was a Spanish speaking only student and Chloe was without asking, she wanted to work with her. Um, we got her her phone so she could translate. And I had had this other particular student in class before and because of a language barrier, she was timid and shy. And Chloe got her out of her shell. She got her, I mean, the work that she was putting in, there was a little bit of competition on the track between the two. Um, I don't think Chloe will ever realize the impact that she had on this particular student. And as a teacher, just to sit back and kind of watch it grow and happen without even me um, having to initiate it um, demonstrates Chloe's character. She is a giver. She is selfless. She is always thinking about other people's needs. And um, all of this makes her an easy, easy candidate for the Leader of the Pack Award. And I just hope I still have another chance to have Chloe in class in the next two years is also. So thank you so much, Chloe. You are, you are Centennial's finest. And um, this was easy to think of somebody for this award. Congrats, Chloe. Tan is a remarkable young man. He moved here from Vietnam a few years ago with his family and has worked hard to master the English language and take on new challenges. This year, he's serving as a historian for both the Peer Council Club and HOSA. 
Tana's willing to lean into opportunities and show his leadership through making video announcements, connecting with his peers, showing his creativity and all that he does. He's willing to lend a hand to anyone in need and cares deeply about those around him. Uh, he has eagerly jumped in to an opportunity at the beginning of the year to connect with new staff on campus uh, by sending them a personalized email to welcome them here. He did the same for new students who had enrolled virtually, calling or emailing them to welcome them here. He works hard to constantly improve as a person and English speaker and doesn't shy away from those chances. It's amazing he's only just starting his sophomore year on our campus and he is really a leader of the pack. Um, we had held a Saturday training a little bit ago for our selectedly, uh, selected new peer counselors and Tom led the keynote um, at the beginning and the welcome. Our new additions uh, reported back that they felt just completely at ease and so welcomed and the friendliness was just spot on. They knew they were being cared for and they could feel the positivity that he showed them and his fellow officers as he, he greeted everybody. Ton has a desire for service leadership, and even though he's been a virtual student uh, both last semester and currently, he's still very much actively engaged in our campus and making a large impact on those around him. Ton really is a leader of the pack, showing concern for his fellow coyotes and all he does. Raven Peters is a very strong student. She was fully virtual last semester and she was engaged as much or more than some of my students who were here in person. She answered kids' questions in the chat. She helped guide them along when they had questions. If she saw that a question was going unanswered, she unmuted her mic and became a voice in my classroom so I could be alerted to another student's in questions and stuff like that. She really helped lead her fellow students in my virtual classroom and it was amazing. And for that reason, I have nominated Raven Peters to be leader of the pack because she shows that she can be a leader and she will lead. Congratulations, Raven. Robert is first off an exceptional student. Robert is creative and he's brilliant and he's responsible and he's mature and he produced work for me that was nothing short of insightful and, and a joy to grade on most occasions. Robert was consistent with his attendance in our online world and he you know, completed work at a level that was, was beyond his years. But besides being a brilliant student and, um, and, and really taking on what was a difficult task for all students, at a time that was really difficult and unsure and different with multiple platforms and, and a new style of learning. But Robert uh, went to a different level in, in my class, and that is he became a, a leader of students in a way that not only benefited them, but truly benefited me. Robert from day one showed himself to be an advocate for students in the online format when I was you know, struggling to try to find my way through this platform of learning. I, I will never forget Robert and all that he did to help me in the semester. He has amazing uh, successes and adventures ahead of him, and I can't wait to hear about all of them. Thanks so much, Robert. You are so deserving of this honor. Bonjour. So, Julian, um, the reason that I feel you are very, very deserving of the Leader of the Pack Award is because, first of all, you show such a great level of curiosity about all kinds of different subject matters, and um, you really engage in the subject that you're studying. I mean, think about how far you took French. You are one of only a couple of students to have taken it to level five in these last several years here at Centennial. It is such a rare thing for a student to go that deep into a topic, and you really brought such intelligence and curiosity to all of your studies en français. And I know that you do this with your other classes as well. So that's one reason why you are deserving to be recognized as a leader of the pack. But I also want to touch on your concern for others. And this is shown in so many different ways, Julian, but you really make other people feel 
good about themselves. And um, and you show that love for others in different ways, such as when we have our Mardi Gras celebrations, you know, you're cooking up a storm for your classmates. Um, in French Club, you've been serving French Club as an officer, and you really make people feel welcome. You make them feel like they belong. And you manage to do this whether they are in person or virtual, and you manage to do this whether you are in person or virtual. And that takes talent. So thank you so much for helping everybody feel uh, like a part of the group. And um, this is just something that you do effortlessly. It's just part of your personality. Um, so I just wanted to recognize you for those um, qualities that you bring and, um, and say what a pleasure it's been to have you as a student these last three years. It will be a different place when you're no longer here at Centennial, but in the words of this um, archaeologist that you may have heard of at some point or another, uh, Indiana Jones said, if you want to be a good archaeologist, you got to get out of the library, right? So your time here at Centennial is coming to an end, but uh, you've got the whole world at your doorstep now. And I know you're going to go to college and then you're going to get out into the world and you're going to make an awesome multilingual classical archaeologist and you're going to have a great time doing it. So thank you for all of your efforts and dedication here at Centennial and best wishes for everything that comes after. Victoria Sutton is an absolute Renaissance coyote here on campus. She serves as president of both National Honor Society and Math Society, is part of the school's yearbook. Likewise, Victoria is one of our top students and is planning on attending MIT in the fall. And she does all of this with a smile and grit. Victoria is a remarkable student and peer. She is very deserving of leader of the pack for being such a cornerstone of this school year student body. So without reservation or hesitation, I highly recommend and congratulate Victoria Sutton on becoming leader of the pack. <laughs>